You ready to do this? How about you all? You ready for some good news? Hi. Hey, I know you don't like astronomy stories, but I think this one's pretty cool. Astronomers have discovered a planet orbiting the nearest star to the sun. The star, as all astronomy nerds in good standing ought to know, is Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf just over four light years away. The planet, dubbed Proxima b, is estimated to have a mass at least one and a quarter times that of Earth and orbits its star once every 11 days. It was discovered by the Pale Red Dot Project, a team of scientists who have been observing Proxima Centauri in the hope of finding an exoplanet after observations of the star taken in 2013 suggested that possibility. I haven't mentioned the most exciting part. Proxima b orbits within Proxima Centauri's habitable zone. So not only is this now the nearest known exoplanet, it's also the nearest known exoplanet that could potentially support life as we know it. At this stage, we have few specifics about Proxima b, so any speculation about the presence of life is premature to say the least. For now, it's merely a tantalizing possibility. The paper describing Proxima b is published in the journal Nature. You know, maybe the reason you don't like astronomy stories very much is because you don't know much about astronomy. So why don't I tell you a little something? Like, for instance, did you know that astronomers have been looking for a ninth planet in our own solar system for several years? And while they haven't yet found evidence of that planet, their search has allowed them to discover all kinds of cool objects located at the outer edges of our solar system. Astronomers at the Carnegie Institution for Science, Northern Arizona University, and the University of Hawaii have predicted the existence of another planet far beyond the orbit of Neptune, believing the orbits of trans-Neptunian objects suggest the existence of such a planet. Though they haven't found the planet yet, their research has led them to discover several of the most distant objects in the solar system over the past few years. Among their discoveries is an object designated 2014 FE72. It's thought to be part of the Oort cloud and is currently the most distant object known in the solar system. At the most distant point of its orbit, 2014 FE72 is 3,000 times further from the Sun than Earth. Discoveries like this are not only exciting in their own right, the astronomers conducting these deep surveys of the solar system's frontier hope their findings will eventually lead them to the theorized ninth planet. A paper on these findings will be published in the Astronomical Journal. Now, Adi, right about now you're probably saying to yourself, okay, sure, we've discovered all of these exoplanets, over 3,500 to date in our galaxy alone, with potentially billions more yet to be discovered. But how can we tell which ones are likely to support life as we know it? Well, as it turns out, some researchers at Yale University may have just found the best method yet for figuring that out. Deborah Fisher, a professor of astronomy at Yale, led the team that developed a new computational model that enables them to analyze the chemical compositions of stars more precisely. The model is specifically intended to help astronomers identify exoplanets similar to Earth. By studying the chemical compositions of stars, astronomers can predict the chemical compositions of planets in orbit, since the stars and planets in a solar system form from the same raw materials. Stars with ratios of carbon to oxygen and magnesium to silicon, similar to that of our Sun, are considered likely to host Earth-like planets. The paper on this new method for identifying such planets is published in the Astrophysical Journal. A planet is found in the habitable zone of our Sun's nearest stellar neighbor. The search for a ninth planet around our Sun has led to the discovery of many new objects on the outer edge of our solar system, and a new way of testing the chemical compositions of stars could make it easier to identify Earth-like planets orbiting other stars than ever before. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, right? She's washing her hands. <laughs>